Michael O'Halloran, Product Marketing Manager for Display Solutions at Samsung Electronics America. I would say the, the most exciting innovations in digital signage right now is the way that it's kind of breaking through the barriers of just being that large screen that you would happen upon. The interactivity, the consumer engagement is going places that we haven't been before. Um, engaging to mobile applications, beacon technology, you know, kind of breaking through that wall of just being a display, but it's a display that's now mirroring content that's on a web page that's also in your mobile application for the company that you're engaging with. And uh, I think that's one of the most exciting things, right? Um, and along those lines, um, you know, cost of the technology comes down, so the technology is starting to expand for where we're seeing it and new applications for it. Uh, so bigger screens, uh, outdoor high brightness technology. Um, if you come by our booth, you'll see that's a major focus on us, uh, or at least what we're presenting this year. Um, it's about you know taking the message further um, and, and leveraging available technologies into new spaces that it hasn't been there before. What's important is that you know. It, it's our opportunity to kick off our, our new initiatives in the new year uh, with what we're with what we're bringing to market. Um, so you know, I remember three years ago at DSC is where we unveiled our smart signage platform, uh, system on chip embedded media player technology. Uh, you know, it's our it's a huge innovation that we came through with, uh, and we we unveiled it and announced it here last year. We announced our acquisition of uh, the LED company Yesco Electronics, now Prism View, um, and this year you know we're here and we're we have that message just displayed on where that's carried us. So we've got you know LED walls on presentation. Uh, that smart signage platform uh, media player chip has kind of opened doors for us. Um, in a nutshell, it simplifies deployment and lowers total cost of ownership on digital signage. So we're putting it into more and more solutions to help people roll out digital signage in new ways. So when you get to our booth, you'll see these massive 75 inch high bright displays for your storefront window that don't require more than power and a Wi-Fi connection to be able to deliver their content. Um, so it's very exciting and really cool stuff. And as far as innovations, um, we've got transparent OLED, we've got mirror displays, um, we've got two different touch technologies for collaboration on display. Um, but as you, you note, you've got to see it to believe it and it's kind of jaw dropping with some of the technology we're showcasing. I would say you choose your partners wisely. Um, you know, you're going to need a number of partners to go and pull your solution off and to get it deployed. and uh, that comes down, that's a huge decision making process um, and can make or break a project for you. Um, you know, from hardware manufacturers, you, obviously I would say you want to go to the ones that are innovating and leading uh, the industry for new technologies and new capabilities. Um, but beyond that, you know, your content providing, your hosting partners, uh, you're going to want to go with folks that are, are capable uh, and, you know, and put them through their due diligence to make sure that, you know, as you do start to make these acquisitions of technology that they deploy the way you envision them. Uh, and the other side, I would say, is to make sure that you have a clear uh, objective that you want to achieve when you actually go to choose your digital signage. Um, you know, I, I like to talk about when you know, the birth of the internet, uh, you know, a new web page, if it doesn't have content, you're not coming back to it. And a digital sign is very similar. You know, you could deploy signage, but if you don't have a strategy for the content that you're going to put onto it and what you want to achieve through that content, you know, what are you really hoping to, to get from your investment? So I think choosing the right partners to make sure you can pull it off without a hitch and actually making sure you have a clear objective of what you want to achieve by deploying digital signage. Whether it's selling more seasonal items or increasing traffic to your social media pages, uh, at least knowing what you want to go to instead of, oh, we got to do digital signage because everyone is. You, know, you should have a real clear cut reason for what you want to do. We're very much a household name and when the name comes up in the customer spaces, uh, we're almost immediately recognized and um, I don't know if the word's respected or at least sought after, you know, and we get customers, end user customers, channel partners that, you know, they look to bring us to the table to so we could share with what's today and what we see tomorrow. And those are incredibly valuable to them. I mean, these are, these could be substantial multi-million dollar investments for the right enterprise. And, uh, you know, would hate to standardize on a technology that won't be relevant by Christmas. Sometimes less is more. And uh, we have a partner, um, Color Edge. I'll 
reference them. And they've done some uh, hero images for, for the cosmetics industry. They're a traditional print company that's transitioning to offering some signage solutions. Um, but one of the things that I've seen is that they use motion very subtly. So one of the ones that I've seen is just, you know, an athlete standing there with his sports drink and the steam emanating off of his shoulders is in motion. So it's essentially a static image with very subtle vision. And you'd walk right past it, but then the vision catches your attention. So I think it's got a subtlety to it that helps engage as opposed to things that might be very vibrant, dynamic, and all over the place. So don't necessarily think because you have a video screen that it has to be, you know, spinning and whirling and sparklers and, you know, it could actually be very subtle and understated, but get folks' attention in a way that print just doesn't work. There's not an endless budget within anyone's organization, so, but there are, there are almost endless opportunities for different ways to engage. Uh, so I think determining the correct engagement strategy uh, is probably one of the most challenging things to do. Um, is it, you know, you name it. Is it uh, invest in outdoor digital signage? Is it to go with small screens on the back of every register? You know, it's really so many options and the technology has offered so many new unique solutions that I think as an enterprise, you really have to sit down and determine again, what are the most what are the primary objectives you want to achieve? And then evaluating the technology and the different solutions that are available to you to pick the right one to go with. Because uh, there's just so much happening right now. Uh, for us, it's just an excellent opportunity. You know, a lot of the other trade shows that we'll support throughout the year, they're either vertical specific or they're much more broad. And this is digital signage. Um, so, you know, our, our counterparts back at our, back in Korea for the visual display group, I mean, that is just, we are just digital signage. Uh, so for this opportunity for us to come in and showcase all of our solutions specific to this application in this market is just our megaphone for what's new and exciting from us as a company. And, you know, if you're not here, you're, you're, you're not relevant. Uh, so, you know, if you want the, both the channel and the end users to kind of know what's next and where Samsung is going, uh, this is the event to do it in. This is much more of an end user event for us. Uh, you know, there's a handful of large events around the technology uh, that we go through through the year. Uh, there's basically two. And uh, the other one is very much more channel and integrator friendly, where this one we're having much greater engagement with the actual end users and the, the folks at the enterprise accounts that are trying to make those right decisions. So it's really great for us to be here and, and put our best foot forward to show what our solutions are and where our technology is going. And uh, we don't get that opportunity at such a broad level of end user accounts uh, that we do here. Digital Signage Expo, simply amazing.